Hey guys, here we are at Sacred Circle Homestead and we wanted to do a small plant identification video for you guys today. So here we have red osier dogwood or Cornus sericea. These are a native shrub to North America ranging from mid Canada down to I believe Illinois is as far south as they go. So they're not very don't go very far south, but they span the whole continent. So they go from the east coast to the west coast. They even they're up in Alaska as well. These are some beautiful shrubs. A lot of people use these for ornamental plantings, but these are found wild everywhere. Mostly wet sites, kind of wetlands, anywhere there where there's kind of wet soil. <laughs> One easy way to identify these guys is by these wicked bright really really stunning red twigs Let's see if we can really get the color here well there we go and you can see this whole kind of stand of them is all red I mean it's it's unbelievable color they don't get very very big you can see that's about the biggest that they get right up here. You can kind of see this little stand. So probably about eight feet maybe. Um, these berries are slightly edible. Uh, they're somewhat toxic. So if you eat too many of them, it'll make, they'll make you have some nausea and prob probably some puking as well. But I think native people used to eat the seeds for them. So if you look, there's one... Here we go. One seed that I guess natives used to flush them and, and eat the seeds for a snack. Another very interesting use is that um, natives used to take the inner bark from the bigger twigs and they'd mix it with tobacco for a smoking mixture called kinik kinik. And that would be used for ceremonial purposes, it would be used for um, everyday purposes even. Um, it's it kinda, it, it's got a small, slight narcotic effect. So it helps you sleep. Um, another way of identifying this is you can see here that these buds are opposite buds as opposed to alternate which most other trees and shrubs have. These opposite buds every leaf will come out right opposite of each other. There's only a couple of other trees that will do that like maples, ashes, buckthorns, and dogwoods being one of them. So that's one easy way to identify them. Another easy way is in the foliage months when there is leaves on these, the leaves will kind of, the, the veins from the leaves will come out from the middle and go back towards the point. So you have a sort of ovally shaped leaf and it comes out from the middle, the vein will come out from the middle and go back to the point as opposed to coming out from the middle and going straight to the edge of the leaf. These are um, extremely important for wildlife. The um, they, they really browse on the, the twigs. So deer, moose, even bear, uh, grouse, almost everything loves these. In fact, in areas like Alaska, they actually suffer from overbrows most of the time because they're so important and so nutritious for those animals. These are also actually used, like I mentioned before, they're used in ornamental plantings, but they're extremely important in restoration projects. So people will use these, they'll plant them on areas that are prone to erosion. Um, the roots form a really, really dense root mass and it, it kind of, it'll hold back any, most any erosion. Um, it kind of really binds the soil together. Um, if you want these on your property or if you want these for restoration projects or whatever, all you have to do is find, find a cutting of these, find a shoot of them and very much like willow or elderberry or currant, just stick it right in the soil and chances are it'll root. It's, they're, they're wicked, wicked easy to, to propagate. Um, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure you could even probably tip layer, I mean a uh, serpentine layer them, you know, kind of lay it down on the ground, pin a rock somewhere, and then bury it with some kind of growing medium. And I'm sure they'll root. They're, uh, most, most shrubs can be rooted that way. So... That's that. Red twig dogwood, red osier dogwood, Cornus sericea. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.